Hi, I'm going to show you how to modify language selector. You can see it just right here in the right top corner. It's quite small, it's got the black background. So I will show you how to change the color, for example, how to change the black to pink and how to make the font bigger. And also we're going to cover how to make the language selector just to stay at the top. Some people were asking how to make this here just to stay on the top rather than when you're scrolling down just to drag it with it. Uh, so in order just to add all those changes we have to just go to our settings, to advanced options and to the code injection. This is exactly the same place where we've actually added our multilingualizer code into the header and the footer. So if you want to scroll down a little bit you can see dot language wrapper. This is the class which is defining the style of this language selector. First thing you can see here, it's position fixed. It means that this language selector will be coming with you as you scroll down the page. If we want this language selector to stay there, we will have to just change that position to absolute. That would be one thing. Second thing we can change here is a background color, which is black at this moment. We can change it to pink. If we would like the whole box to be a little bit bigger, we would have to increase padding. Let's just change it to, let's say, 12 pixels. Next things what we can just do is just to make the font bigger. And how we do that, we just add font size let's say 30 pixel which is going to be quite big but this is just to show you how you can actually just apply those changes um, and another thing we can change here is also the we can change totally font to something different so let's say font family you have to remember just to add obviously the quotes let's say it's going to be a Just remember that it's really important that you cannot lose any of tiny, tiny symbols, which may just look not that important to you, but once they are going to miss any of them, the whole um, style may not apply. So please be careful and just change the words or the numbers just in inside the semicolons, etc. And we're going to click Save. Now, you can see that first of all, when we scroll down, the page is really slow, but you can see it that the language selector stays on the top, it doesn't drag with, the, with you while you're scrolling the page down. Second thing, you can see the box is much bigger just now. It's got also pink, lovely color. <laughs> and also uh, the font itself has got a different style.